Did you know multiplication is the inverse to division? Finding the inverse means we are doing the opposite. Normally, we use the inverse to check a question to make sure we have the correct answer. The cool thing about the inverse is that we can find loads of different problems with the same numbers. So if I have the question 4 times 2, it gives me the answer 8. I can also then come up with two division questions with using the same numbers. So I have something divided by 2 is going to give me the answer 4. What number do you think I would put in? Bam. So 8 divided by 2 gives me the answer 4. I can also have this question. Something divided by 4 gives me the answer 2. You're right. Our answer again is 8 divided by 4 gives me the answer 2. 6 times 5, my answer is 30. What are going to be my two division problems? Quickly tell somebody. 30 divided by 5 gives me the answer 6. And 30 divided by 6 gives me the answer 5. All using the same numbers, but we have three different calculations. If we wanted to use our arrays to help us with these problems and find in the inverse, we could do it like this. So 3 times 6, 3 groups, and there are 6 in each group. So we've got the number of groups, we've got how many are in each group, and we have the total. Now, if I wanted to flip that and turn it into a division problem, I would start with my total. So how many we have in the array altogether, which is 18. I then want to divide it by 3. So I would create my three different groups, giving me the answer 6 would be in each group. If I wanted to do the opposite and do 18 divided by 3, Sorry, 18 divided by 6, my answer would be 3. Let's do this one together. So we have 5 times 2, 5 groups, and there are 2 in each group. What is my total? Brilliant. So my answer is 10. Now we want our two division problems. So we're going to start with our total, which is 10. And I want to divide it by 5. What is going to be my answer? Brilliant. Quickly tell somebody what is my other division question. 10 divided by 2 gives me the answer 5. Can you come up with this one by yourself? If you need to use this array to help you, do that. And also, can you have a go at this one? Remember to look back to double check that you are using the correct method.